Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Uh, today's video, we are going to be adjusting the rear coilovers, just so you get the proper ride height and all that stuff. Now, I made this video months ago, but the audio was absolute crap. Uh, it was very staticky and all that stuff, so I never put it out, and I never remade the video. So, somebody commented, looking for that video, well, now I'm going to make it. So, ask, you shall receive. Just a couple updates because the engine is going to be the focus of the video after this one. Uh, let's give you a quick update on things there. So the valley cover I put in, uh, these bolts are too tall and they hit the bottom of the intake manifold. Now we do not want to crack that, so I got new bolts coming in and they're lower profile. So when those come in, which is tomorrow for me, uh, we'll swap them out, we'll get everything in, and then just move some of the wiring harness into place because when you put the intake manifold in, you want this below it, this wiring harness below it, and all that fun stuff. And also, where the coils go, Holly decided to be a jerk off and make these wider than the stock coils. So yeah, this hole and this hole will not line up with those holes on the engine, on the valve cover, so, I have to figure out one of two things, either get new valve covers to make these fit or just go with new ones of these since these are 20 years old. Kind of leaning towards, screw these things, we're putting other ones on. Now it says that they are LS3 coils that need to go on there, so I may go to an auto parts store and just compare and contrast and make sure that they will plug in because that would suck if I ordered eight of these and this plug did not work, then I'm in a whole different other problem. Potential solutions, get new ones of these, put them on the valve covers, or put the old valve covers back on and just use these for now until I get a replacement or a solution to the problem. So let's get under the back of the car and uh, dive into this coilover adjustment. All right guys, I kind of sabotaged this thing on myself just so I could show you how to adjust it like right now you have a giant gap here for rebound and I lowered the coil spring let's see what you can see in there uh, you can kind of see it I guess but I lowered that spring all the way as compared to the rebound on the driver's side which is about a fist worth and let's see we can see the spring in there so the spring is probably about a quarter of the way down uh, we're going to try and mimic this on the other side and try and get the same results. Alright guys, now I think the best way to set the rebound on this is just to take a measuring a measurement from the top of here to the bottom of this little lock nut, which is right here. Uh, on the other side I got seven and a quarter, so we'll see what this side looks like. Yeah, I'm about eight and three quarters here, so that's why our rebound is so much different on this side. And that's why you have the way bigger gap between the wheel and the wheel well. So I'm going to shorten that up and I'm going to get to that seven and a quarter measurement. And then we're going to work on adjusting the spring. That ultimately sets the height of the vehicle, not this. Now these divorce systems, they suck because you got to tinker with four things instead of just one. And I disconnected the sway bar. I don't know if you can see it just to get it out of the way. So we can get more droppage on this, but got our little small spanning tool. So Right, you tell you lefty loosey, we're gonna come this way. And we're gonna loosen that up. Okay, so now I should be able to spin this freely. Let's see if I can do it real quick with two hands. You kinda need two hands on it. But anyway, turn it righty, pulls it up, loosey brings it down. So we're gonna try and pull this up and by spinning it, it should spin in place. It shouldn't be a problem. Stand by. All right guys, hit a wall when I was tightening this up, but uh, I put a jack under it and now I could spin it with one hand. So that's, that's good. Uh, so if it starts getting hard, oh, okay, so give it a little pump with this. And now I can do it one-handed. So put a jack under it, that seems to help. And we'll get this to our seven and a quarter. Get a little pump. And that lock nut should be right where we want to be. 
Okay, that's about where my lock nut is. Let's double check this measurement. We're at seven and a quarter right there, so I'm gonna lock it in. Get my little guy, do a little crank. All right, that's locked in place. All right, guys, being that this is a divorce system and they suck, uh, we're gonna set the ride height. So what we're gonna do is, so we'll put the small one, we'll just spin it all the way up. Now, before you put this entire thing together, like if you just get it new and you want a certain ride height, set it beforehand and then throw it in, you'll be way better off. But anyway, let me start loosening this up. So I'm gonna grab there and I'm gonna spin it this way. All right guys, sprayed a little lube in here. Uh, that seems to be helping too, being that our right height, or our rebound is set already. So now setting the right height, I sprayed a little coil in there. It seems to be helping. So as you can tell here, it's sliding much easier. So I had about a finger width on the other side. So we're gonna try and mimic that. So we're gonna come down just a little bit more see what we look like. It's getting there. Maybe like one or two more turns I think will be pretty golden. Yeah I like that. So now I'm gonna drop this down and we should be good. This down. Crank. Ugh. We're locked in. We got about our finger width. I will throw the wheel back on and we'll see where results are. All right, guys, next day, because I ran out of daylight. Uh, I just need to make some final tweaks on this, so I'm going to drop the limit on the shock. And I'm going to drop the spring a little more, as in make it taller. I'm just going to do that real quick. Put a jack underneath. Just to support it so it makes it easier to spin this. And uh, we'll see where our results are in a few seconds. All right, guys. We got our shock travel about the same. About a fist worth in there. And about a fist worth here. So now I'm going to lower the car to the ground. And we'll check our gap up here, see if we're about the same as I just made my like, hopefully final adjustment. Let me lower it and we'll get back to you. All right, guys, got the, uh, did some little finishing touches on the suspension on the rear side of the car, more specifically the rear passenger side of the car. Just did a little tweaking, uh, made the spring a little longer. Now, if you look at it, the springs their adjustments are not the same. Like, I guess different sizes of the vehicle may vary. So, but uh, we got our ride height the way we want it. We got our rebound the way we want it. And it's pretty good to go. So just uh, some final thoughts, uh, especially if it's been sitting for a little bit, spray a little lube in there, whether it's Croil that I use, I use Croil, uh, WD, just something to help it spin. And also with the car jacked up and supported, Take a pump jack, put it underneath the suspension part that you want to adjust, because it was pretty hard to do. So I put the jack underneath the shock and lifted it up ever so slightly, and it, I was able to spin it. Now you'll be able to spin it for a little bit and then it'll get hard again. Just give a little eh on the pump jack and just keep going. Uh, the spring, it's gonna fight you. Also spray that with something, because well, it's been sitting for a while, so. You get dust, debris, stuff in there, makes it hard to spin, but once I sprayed it, it, was, it went pretty easy. So just uh, with these divorce systems, it's a little challenging because you have four different 
measuring components on the back of the vehicle instead of just basically one in the front like everything's all in one coil over if it's something that you're trying to adjust real quick you may want to just take your time on it uh to get it the way you want it we'll see what happens when it's actually like riding around and see how responsive it is that will be coming soon so thanks for watching guys like subscribe we're almost at 80 subscribers or who knows when this video comes out maybe a little over but we'll play that by ear. Like, subscribe, you know the deal. And I'll see you in the next one.